My name's Ned, this is my dog Jai, and today we're going to be talking about the Power BI help page. In particular, what to put on it and how to build an effective one. In a previous video, I showed you the three design features that I put on pretty much every Power BI report that I build. Now, one of those features was a Power BI help page, and one of you asked if I could show what I put on my help page. So that's what this video is. We're going to be talking about how to design an effective Power BI help page that contains all the information that your end users might need to know. And if I miss something, let me know down in the video comments what I missed and why you put it on your Power BI help page when you design a report. All right, let's jump in. So here is my simple Power BI report template. And this is a template that I use for pretty much everything. It has a little logo space, the report title, the page, and then like a little help button. And if you follow that help button, it goes to my help page. And this is what we're going to be focusing in on today. Now, if you notice, I have two sections and these sections are for two distinct things. One is for a frequently asked questions section and one is for a data dictionary. So let's go ahead and let's label those two sections. So we're going to go over here to the insert tab and we're going to go over here to text box, click the text box and we're going to title this FAQ and then let's make this font. Uh, let's go Sergio UI, let's go bold and we'll make this like 15, right? I'm sure that's a little too big. So make this 12 and then we'll go ahead and we'll shrink this text box down right here. And we will go ahead and we will move this up. So it's at the top of the screen. We will then do the same. So we'll copy and paste it and we will move it over here and we'll title this one. Uh, like data dictionary right here or data definitions. Actually, let's call it metric definitions. I like that better. Now, as you notice, like I don't call these sections the same thing. I'm not coming up with kind of uh, the same titles every single time. If you're building out a reporting suite, that's definitely something that you would want to do. But what I'm trying to give you an idea for here is what do I actually include on my help desk? So I'm going to align these to the top and let's see, there you go. So let's zoom back out and let's take a look at what this report looks like. As you can see, we now have a FAQ and a metrics definition page. Now, a while ago, I made a list of questions and posted it on LinkedIn for questions that anyone leading a team in the BI space should be able to answer. And I had a section on dashboards and the questions that I believe are relevant to our help page is what question is each page of the dashboard meant to answer and who is the intended user group? And then finally, as well as what is the data security within the dashboard? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab those questions or those top two right there. Then I'm going to go back over here to insert and I'm going to put in a text box. I'm going to put those two questions right here. Then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to grab our third question. I'm going to add two more questions into this list. So these question, the next question is going to be, how does this dashboard refresh? So if it's uh, via API, right? I would say it's via API, happens around this time. If it's scheduled, I would say it's scheduled to refresh at this time. The next thing that I would add would be, uh, how do I request additional access to data in the dashboard? So that would be like if you have RLS applied, um, how do you want them reaching out for support? And then the other one I would put in is how do I request support or report a problem with this dashboard? 
Now, on both of these two support facing questions, especially if I'm supporting them over email, I would actually specify a subject line. So I would say, hey, in the subject line, put help simple Power BI template dash access, right? Or help simple Power BI report template broken. So I would answer each one of these questions on the FAQ page. Now, the metric definition piece of this is a little bit different. So there's kind of two different ways that you can go about doing this. The first way is that you can insert in a table and you can use the info views to, for example, store the definitions of measures and you could put all of those measures in here or alternatively, you can actually just kind of free write them very similar to this. And I think what you choose to do there is going to be really dependent on the maturity of your data organization or how many of your metrics are duplicated across multiple reports, right? So we will either go and we'll start listing out metric definitions. So something like, hey, revenue is blank, or we'll put in a tab. But you have a lot of space to do this right here on the Power BI help page. So. Did I cover everything that you put on your Power BI help page? Well, let me know down in the video comments. I put Jai to sleep, so I hope I didn't do the same to you over this five minute video. But with that said, uh, that's the end. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.